You know, you're absolutely right. Uh, but also, it, as they keep saying, and as we've been pointing out, it is not done till it's done. Uh, and, uh, you know, the pollsters are going to have to do some serious introspection and some uh, serious talking through as to uh, what happened as far as some of those cru crucial battleground states are concerned. But that's a separate story altogether. And, uh, you know, Ramdi, I completely agree with you. The India story is robust. The India consumption story, the India uh, infrastructure story, uh, and no alliance, whether it is the NDA or the India alliance, uh, is going to want to upset the growth tra uh, trajectory or is going to want to upset uh, the growth path that India has been on. You see it in state after state, even in states where the BJP is not in power and you actually have the Congress or you have uh, other parties in power. They're all competing to draw in investments. They're all competing to draw in foreign direct investment. Look at the state of Tamil Nadu, uh, battling it out with Gujarat, etc. to try and draw in investors, to try and get FDI in. Uh, look at Telangana, similar story playing out there when it was the BRS or now it's the Congress. They're doing exactly the same thing. The BRS had made Davos their big investment pitch. And uh, now the Congress government under Revanth Reddy is doing exactly that. So I think we need to be mindful of the fact that governments, irrespective of whether they're at the state or the center, understand that they need to deliver on the promise of growth. They need to deliver on the aspirations. It's a young population. In fact, another very interesting statistic uh, that uh, the exit polls threw up, uh, and we will have to bear out whether those match with the final number was that there was dissonance in the youth in the 18 to 25 bracket especially in states where the BJP is in power, uh, they were uh, unsettled uh, or wanting more and impatient. So these are many factors that governments, whether at the center or the state, uh, recognize and uh, realize that they have to deliver on the promise of growth. They have to deliver on the uh, opportunity of jobs, irrespective of uh, who is in power. But the tally at this point in time and... Uh, uh, you know, comments coming in, but we need to verify those on Chandrababu Naidu's comments. Remember, he is a potential kingmaker uh, given the TDP's performance in this election. And remember, uh, he has also uh, now uh, dislodged Jagan Reddy on his way to dislodging Jagan Reddy in the state assembly. Andhra Pradesh went to the state polls as well as, of course, the Lok Sabha elections. So Chandrababu Naidu is going to be a key uh, man to watch out for, of course, a, a veteran politician and has always been an investor's favorite and investor's delight. So we'll have to see uh, what, uh, what he makes of this electoral result. Uh, 240 to the BJP, 293 to the NDA, 229 to the India Alliance, and 93 for the Congress. UP is where the script has gone off track for the BJP. Uh, the India Alliance now at 42, the NDA at 36. We are going to take a quick break. The Sensex down 7%. We're back in a moment with more.